Hey there everybody, Stan the Man here. Um, so I, I really don't make Tory review f videos or anything like that. But um, I'm overseas right now on deployment and I went to a Toys R Us in uh, Okinawa, Japan. And when I went there, I actually saw this uh, Captain Marvel binary form. And um, she hasn't been out in the US yet. So I paid a little extra for her because they charge a little more overseas. And, uh, you know, I got to say that these, this figure is uh, pretty worth it. You know, I think it's a really great detailed figure. They did really good on the face. I haven't had my hands on a figure in six months, so this is pretty nice for me. Um, it comes with a lot of stuff. Uh, but, you know, my main thing is, obviously everyone's seen a review about this already through Shardimus Prime or uh, Toy News International. But the main thing I want to talk about is the new uh, packaging for these and you know i i guess it's now in uh that's how they're doing it now because i haven't seen any other ones but now you could rip basically pull off the plastic in the front and you know i'm not gonna really try to damage my box here but you know with you know people who uh either steal figures or swap them out i think this just makes it easier for them and i think it's terrible with you know the package design it, maybe it's saving them money that's what i'm guessing why they changed it like this but you know for figure swappers it, it makes it even easier for them because now they don't have to cut open the tape in the box you know it's easier to convince people that no this is how i bought it you know so it's kind of a disappointment that that's what they decided to do now but you know um like i said i don't know that that's if that's how they're just trying to change it and then save money i mean good on them i guess but even the design on the back you know you see here you know you can't tell what the figure is actually supposed to look like and someone could put whatever they want in there and i just think it's you know uh making it really easy for them uh, I don't know if there's a difference here. I think on the bottom, only reason because this is in Japan, is that it's got Japanese writing all at the bottom, uh, and it's from Japan distribution. So I see it, saw on a few videos that this is how it is in America now with the open, whoops, open front packaging, and you know it just it's a real bummer that that's how they're doing it. Now, it is great to go and look at another Toys R Us in a different country because obviously they're all gone in America. But, you know, and uh, actually when I bought these both because I like to display all my figures with all alternate heads is that they gave me this little keychain uh, Captain Marvel, you know, so Funko Pop. So, you know, obviously it's not really a figure review. This is me just kind of talking about this figure and what is new with it again you know this figure doesn't it's actually a really tight figure uh i haven't had time to do any of this that's really nice it sucks because you know she's got the neck showing it doesn't really cover it up so it kind of looks a little off with her using the helmeted uh, head but otherwise this figure looks really awesome it's tight in the joints and uh you know i don't know if anyone ever plans to go to uh, japan but you know definitely check out the toys r us usually they have like some old stuff but they had uh you know obviously this walmart exclusive which is weird because they don't carry toys r us exclusives they just carry exclusives from target and walmart because they had also they also had the the Star Force version of Captain Marvel, which I skipped out on him because I had it ordered already through Target and it was sent home for me. So this was a nice early pickup for me. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this and uh, leave a discussion, comments about, you know, the new packaging and what your thoughts are on it. Thanks.